Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Sam Colra along with Jack Sunnestine and and Ethan. CBS Sports compiled its list of the 100 best NFL players in 2023, and no surprise who came out on top. Patrick Mahomes is the clear top choice, fresh off his second Super Bowl title and two regular season MVPs in the past five seasons. At just 27 years old, Mahomes is on a current pace to be in the conversation as one of the greatest NFL players of all time. Quarterbacks went 1-2-3 in CBS's player rankings. The Bills' Josh Allen came in second, and Joe Burrow of the Bengals was number three. Last year's number one player, Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald, slipped to the ninth spot. One of the big question marks entering the upcoming NBA season centers around Ja Morant. The Memphis Grizzlies all-star guard will start the season serving a minimum 25-game suspension for his off-the-court behavior. The suspension could exceed 25 games if he does not meet certain conditions. Morant will be ineligible for any team activities during his suspension. The Grizzlies have responded well to Morant's absences in the past. Memphis won 11 and 10 without Morant last season, but in the 2021-22 season they went 20 and 5 when Morant was not available to play. The college football season is fast approaching with seven games scheduled for week 0 on August 26th, including two major programs, Notre Dame and USC, opening their seasons early. The Fighting Irish face Navy in Dublin, Ireland for the first time since 2012, and Southern Cal hosts San Jose State with San Jose State. Both USC and Notre Dame are expected to be in the college football playoff chase the com this coming season, especially after quarterback Sam Hartman transferred to Notre Dame. And USC has defending Heisman Trophy winner Caleb Williams returning. Most college football teams begin their season the first weekend of September for the traditional Week 1 schedule. Major League Baseball is enjoying an attendance resurgence, with internal projections pointing to a full-season attendance increase of 6-8%. to That is encouraging news for MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred, who says 22 of 30 MLB clubs are currently up in attendance. A year ago, Major League Baseball experienced its lowest attendance figures since 1997. Manfred points out that there has been strong fan reception to the pitch clock, larger bases, and a ban on extreme defensive shifts. Since adding the pitch clock back in April, the average MLB game is 26 minutes shorter than in 2022. MLB games have not been this short in 40 years. Finally, the United States women's soccer team goes for a three-peat at this summer's Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. The U.S. women captured the title in 2019 and 2015. England, the European champion, is also one of the top contenders. This year's field is the largest ever with 32 teams competing compared to 24 in previous tournaments. More than 1 billion people around the world will be watching the competition. When the USWNT beat the Netherlands in the 2019 finals, an average of 82.2 million viewers watched world worldwide. That is it for a busy day in sports. For my co-anchors Jack Sunnestein and Ethan, I'm Sam Colra. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.